Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to change password or reset password of internet banking of State Bank of India account. So if you are also having a savings account in State Bank of India and you want to reset the password of your internet banking, then just open your web browser and then just look for online SBI. Then among the results, just open the first link which is from State Bank of India and the URL is online sbi.sbi just open this one up now on this page we have to select personal banking because it's a savings account it's a personal banking account and if you are working with the corporate banking then you'll have to click here but anyway since I'm talking about the savings account which comes under personal banking just click here on login now on this page they have just illustrated or like displayed the good habits or the habits that we should follow like keep your computer free of malware change your passwords periodically so if you have time you can go through them one by one it's a good practice to know these do's and don'ts or the good practices anyways then just click on this continue to login and finally on this page we have to click here forgot username or login password a new window is going to pop up like this let me just maximize it then please note that support for certain issues will be available only after successful login then let's click here forgot my login password so in case you have forgotten your username you can go for this second option and if you want to set your login password for the request which are approved by branch then you can go for this one or recent user ID through SMS this is only for the new registrants only anyways we have to go for this one that says forgot my login password then click on next then on this page we have to enter our username so I will just enter my username don't share these kind of information with anyone no matter who is it they might be posing as calling from SBI or RBI or anywhere. Just never share these confidential information with anyone. Then you have to type your account number. All right, then let's select our country that is India. Then enter your mobile number. Then you have to enter your date of birth. Date of birth is in DD MMYYY format, which means the day will come first then month and then year the date is of two digits forward slash then month is of two digit forward slash and then the year is of four digit then we have to enter the text which is displayed here i'll just enter that now and also at the bottom if you go through these steps it says you can reset your login password using any of the three ways First is using ATM card details or using profile password. Third is without ATM card details and using profile password. Let's just click on submit. And it says please enter valid account number. Let me recheck my account number. Now it's going to send one OTP at your registered mobile number. So just take out your phone and get the OTP from your registered mobile number and enter the OTP here. Now it's asking for the option using which I am going to change the password. Now it depends upon you which of the information is present with you. If you have the ATM card details with you, you can go for the first option. If you remember your profile password, then you can go with this one. And the third one is reset your login password with branch activation. So in case if you are not having any of these two details, then the third option for you is to reset your login password with branch activation if you select the third option a kind of form is going to be generated for you which you have to sign and then take it to the branch and then the branch is going to reset the password or help you in resetting the password but if you have any of these two details then just select them let's say i'll just select this one using atm card details and i'll click on submit now it shows the active cards 
as well as the cards which have closed or which have expired so this is the active card for me so i'll just select it if you have multiple active cards then those will be available here so depending on that list you can select the card whose detail is readily available with you i'll just select one card from here now i have to enter the card holder name so whatever information is written on your card you have to write the exact same here don't try to change anything if there's a spelling mistake in your name in the card then you write the same name with a spelling mistake here also in the same way whatever is the validity you have to enter the exact same data here then you have to enter your debit card pin and then finally just enter the captcha detail right just click on proceed if your details are verified then it will show something like this the status is showing as success the time of validation is this and we don't have to click anywhere we don't have to click on refresh or do anything the page is going to be redirected on its own and then we will be redirected to this page where we can enter new password so you just have to enter password two times now now while entering the password you have to make sure that the password should be greater than 8 and less than 20 digits it should contain at least one number one capital alphabet as well as one small alphabet and at least one special character also and then avoid password from your personal data such as name, date of birth, address, telephone number and car number and it is also a very good practice to commit your password to memory which means try to remember your password and don't write it down anywhere where it can be read by others anyways I'll just click on submit then it says the password has been reset let's return back to online SBI and let's try to login into the account and now my internet banking has opened up which means we were able to successfully change or reset the password of my internet banking so that is how we can easily change the password and it's always a good habit to keep changing your password at regular intervals so that's all for this video i hope you were able to change your password so if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching